art for me is very important in life. I think that artists really must exist to give their messages to the world. And the artists are people who remain forever. If people forget the name of leaders or kings or presidents, they never forget musicians and singers and artists. Farah Diba Pahlavi was an icon of the 1970s, along with her husband, the Shah of Iran, Mohammad Reza. Now Farah Pahlavi lives in exile. Her home in Paris is full of artworks. In the 1970s, Farah was the face of Persian culture. Here with Andy Warhol. She also founded Tehran's Modern Art Museum. Like other culture then, it was financed out of the Shah's budget. There are also critiques saying that the revenue from, from the oil prices should go in other things instead of maybe for art. What, what, what do you say to that? In Iran was developing in so many areas and uh, people who want to criticize, they all, also uh, always find something. Uh, they are proud. I, this is for, it's a cultural heritage and material heritage for Iran and the Iranian people compared the price that we bought in those days till today. Iran was in turmoil in the 1970s. Liberals demanded freedom of expression. Islamists pushed for an end to what they regarded as the westernization of their country. 1979 was the year of the Iranian revolution. Shah Pahlavi and his wife Farah had to flee. There's not one day that I don't think about Iran and every hour because the country like Iran with great civilization, with great wealth, with its people. And when you see the condition of Iranian people today in my country, I cannot, I really suffer a lot because of the condition of women, their freedom, the way they are insulted, the way they, they are treated. The Islamists who took power in 1979 locked away the Shah's art collection. A part of the collection was meant to go on show in Berlin in December. But Iran didn't approve sign-off on the exhibition in time and the show was cancelled. The reason is unclear. One of the rumours is that, that you could, uh, could make legal claims one, once the artworks would have left the country. You know, this is ridiculous, you know, the uh, rumours. When I built, helped to build this museum, it was for Iran and for the Iranian people. These works belong to Iran and Iranian people. When this collection comes out in Germany and in Italy, I hope the museum will make sure that these works will go freely back, uh, back to Iran. Farah Diba Pahlavi is still hopeful the works she collected in the 1970s will make it to Berlin and that they'll be shown in Iran too.